So today we are scanning the artifacts from the USS Monitor. We're working with the Mariners Museum and Park and the University of West Florida's C3D lab starting today with the Monitor's iconic anchor. As we talk about technology and its involvement with Monitor, we have it from the past, from the ship itself, and we're now applying techniques and technology to be able to tell the story. So you know, when it comes to why we recovered all these artifacts, why Monitor's here, is the ability to use the artifacts as mediums to tell the stories of the ship and the crew. So today I had the opportunity to bring one of the 3D scan technology that we have in the lab. This type of scan, it's a LED base, so it takes about 16 pictures a second. When you're scanning the object, it's kind of painting, you can see the surface of the object being created on the computer, and then the software stitches all those pictures together, creating a 3D model. So our philosophy with this project where we're scanning these artifacts here with the University of West Florida is to remove barriers between the history and the public. We always like to say that whether you're 8 years old or 80 years old, we want you to be excited by Monitor's stories. And I think there's no more tangible way to connect somebody with history than physically putting history into their very hands themselves. So by 3D printing these artifacts and scanning them, we can actually put that history in somebody's hands. Although, obviously, it's, it's a copy, it's an experience, you get, for maybe a brief moment, the feeling of what it was like inside that turret. That is the advantage of 3D technology. It's providing this ability to experience you couldn't do any other way.